Hi friends, in this video I'll be talking about quadratic equation and the aspect I'm talking about is the formula method. So basically I'll be deriving the quadratic formula exactly. Now suppose you are given an expression of uh, AS squared plus BX plus C which is equal to zero. I mean the general expression for the quadratic equation. Now to derive the quadratic formula, we're going to use the complete and the square method. So let's just go ahead and solve it and derive the equation so first thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to divide all through all this expression by the coefficient of s a and divide by dividing it i'm going to have this to be that's actually divided by a this divided by a and this divided by a so that i'm going to have this to be that's um, s squared right then plus b divided by a x plus c divided by a equals to zero then after that, I'm going to bring this to all the side so that I'm going to have this to be s squared plus that's uh, b divided by a x, right? Then equal to c minus c divided by a. Very simple. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is that the coefficient of a, which is b over a, I'm going to divide it by 2 and at the same time, I will square it. So that I'm going to have this to be that's b divided by a, then I'll divide it by 2, then I'm going to square it. So here I'm going to have b divided by a, then multiply by 1 divided by 2, or squared. So here is this actually b divided by 2a, or squared. So this expression, I'm going to add it to both sides of this equation. Show that I'm going to have this to be s squared plus b divided by ax, right then, plus b divided by 2a, this is all squared, right, equals to minus c divided by a, plus b divided by 2a or squared exactly so the next thing i'm going to do is that if you look at this side of this equation this is actually difference of two squares show that i'm going to bring this out that's x plus this is going to be b divided by 2a or squared that's the first then this is equal i'm going to simplify this so here i'm going to have this to be c minus c over a then plus b squared divided by this is actually 4a squared because 2 squared is 4 and e squared is actually a squared. So now let me just collect the SM here. So here I'm going to have this to be 4 a squared. Then here I'm going to have this to multiply like this. This is going to give me minus 4 e c, right? Then this is plus, this is actually b squared. 4 e is going to cancel 4 e. Then this is b squared. E is going to cancel one of the e. 4 e multiplied by c, that's minus 4 e c. So this is equal to x plus b divided by 2 a. Or squared. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to take the root of both sides. Taking the root of both sides, don't forget this will include plus or minus because it's a root and this also, but this is all squared and this is going to eliminate this. So I'm going to have this to be x plus b divided by 2a equal to plus or minus root of. Let me just rewrite it. This is going to be b squared then minus 4ac divided by 4a squared. Now the next thing is that we just have to simplify this expression. So simplifying this expression, we're going to have this to be x plus b divided by 2a, right, equal to this. I'm going to have it to be plus or minus root of, this is b squared minus 4ac, then divided by what? This is root of 4a squared. So here I'm going to have this to be, that's actually from here I'm going to have this to be x plus b divided by 2a, right, then this is equal to plus or minus root of that's actually p squared minus 4 ac divided by this actually root of 4 that's going to be root of 4 multiplied by root of what of a squared which this is going to cancel this i'm going to have this to be a and root of 4 is actually 2 so this is actually 2a exactly so root of 4 is equal to 2a so let's just bring this towards the side and make our x the subject of the formula so making the x the subject of the formula then we're going to have this to be x equals to um, plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac then divided by what 2a then this coming to all this side is going to be minus b divided by 2a so now let's go ahead and simplify by taking the s here so here i'm going to have this to be 2a right so this is going to cancel this i'm going to have this to be plus or minus this is going to be root of b squared minus 4ac then this is going to cancel this i'm going to have minus b so here I'm going to have x to be equal to this. So after that, I can simply bring this minus b toward the side. So I'm going to have this with x 
equals to minus b then plus or minus root of what b squared minus 4ac all divided by what 2a which is the general quadratic formula now if you want if you simply want to solve any any quadratic equation in which the coefficient of a is not equal to zero then you can simply use this what this general formula so this is the general formula s equals to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4 ac or divided by 2 a and let's just use it to solve one more question let's solve one question here now suppose we have to find the uh, quadratic uh, the root of the of this quadratic expression which is 4 x squared right plus 6x minus 1 equals to 0. Now, in this case, what you actually need to understand is that this expression is similar to what? To this expression. So, in this case, you can simply say the a, the coefficient of x here is, what, is 4, which is a in this case, then this is going to be, we have bx, this is going to be b equals to 6 and c equals to what? Minus 1. And let's record the general formula, which is s equals to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by what 2a now let me just substitute all these values for this what this formula i'm going to have this with x equals to minus b which is minus 6 plus or minus root of b squared is going to give me uh, that 6 squared right then minus 4 multiply by a which is actually 4 again then multiply by c that's actually minus 1 right all divided by what 2 multiplied by 4 so here i'm going to have x equals to minus 6 plus or minus right and this is simply root of c squared is actually that 6. Then minus multiplied by minus, that's going to give us plus. Then 4 times 4 is actually 16. Then we're going to have divided by 2 times 4, that's actually 8. Right? Exactly. So here we're going to have this to be x equals to minus 6 plus or minus. That's 6 plus 16. That's actually 52, right? That's 52. So here we're going to have root of 52 divided by what? 8. Then here we're going to simply have x equals to minus 6 minus root of 52 divided by 8 or x equals to minus 6 then plus root of 52 divided by what it exactly so these are the roots of the quadratic equation so you can choose to simplify for that but for now i'm going to leave my hands like this so that's just it but what i want you guys to understand is that as far as quadratic equation is concerned we must have two roots right we must get two roots which is this and this exactly so if you enjoyed this video please and please do where to click on the description button and don't forget to hit the like button and also the notification button so as to get notified whenever i drop a new video then uh, the next thing i'm going to do is that i will solve a lot of questions let me just say a series of questions on this on this quadratic equation using the formula method so make sure do where to visit the playlist so that i can check the solution to different problems Thanks for watching.